Hello viewer, this is Imrez Kadratin. In this video, I am going to show you how we can call a web API from a project to another project. By default, we can't call an API from a project to another project. This is my database. In my previous video, I already created this database. You can find that link in the description part. At that time, I only have three columns, ID, name, and role. Today, I add another column, name, gender. This is my student data model. Here we can see three properties, ID, name, and role. I take another column, gender. So I have to add that column in this student data model. So right click on it. Select update model from database. Click finish. OK, done. Let's rebuild. OK, finish. Now let's go to e students controller. These are my two APIs. Today I'm gonna work with this API. I am going to call this API from this project to another project. First, I'm gonna take an HTML page. So let's create an HTML page say students dot html let's take jquery script okay i'm taking two button input id get students type button value gets first one second one clear clear well list id ul students script text script document ready function students i take ul students dom into this variable click there's declare an ajax call Uh, API call type will be get URL API students data type JSON if success function call data first make this ul list 
uh, empty. Now I want to load this student list, which we will find in data into the UL list. So type each to sorry data function where you can find its value uh, append uh, in li value dot name okay done let's do clear button click event ul students dot empty okay Make it just um, rebuild. Let's run students.html page on browser, view in browser. Okay. Click gets. Okay, it's working. Now I'm going to take an another project and going to call this API from that project. So add new project ASP.NET web application client application. Say okay, waveform create an HTML page, say index dot HTML. Go to students.html page and copy. Okay, done. I have to change this URL because in this students.html page, it's working because it calls API slash students API from its own controller. But here I have to mention the host name. So the host name will be this. Okay, done. Now go to a student service, reference, manage, no get package. Browse type Microsoft dot ASP dot ASP net dot web API dot course. This one install. I will use this library to call an API from a project to another project. Okay, done. Now go to app start web API config. I have to enable this core. So config dot enable course. Okay. 
Now go to controller. I want to use this core for this API controller. So type enable course. for all kind of origins for all kind of headers and for all kind of methods okay done rebuild the project Now go to client application project and run index.html page. So the local host 50593 is my API project's local host and local host 49987 is my client applications project local host. So I'm going to call its API, which is API slash students from this client application project. Let's click on get button. Okay, it's working. Now, uh, if I want to disable this course for only this get API, then I have to right disable course it will disable course only for this api let's see what happened rebuild refresh this page click gets button look an error occurs because it enable to call that api because i make it disable in this way by using course we can call an api from a project to another project thanks for watching please like comment and share and subscribe my channel for new tutorials thank you